Hi guys, we are going to do today athletics at home. Okay, and it's not going to be easy, and we're going to make do with what we've got. Okay, but we're going to have a fun about 20 to 25 minutes. We are going to do a home athletics, and it's going to be Olympic edition, obviously. 2021, where your Tokyo Olympics was uh, postponed to 2021, so therefore it's Olympic year. We're going to do an Olympic home style athletics session. Okay. And what's going to happen is we're going to make it out of five events, okay? So that's called a pentathlon. And there, there is an Olympic event called the modern pentathlon, which includes, I think it's fencing, horse riding, pistol shooting, swimming, and long distance running, okay? Obviously, we're not going to do any of those, okay? We're going to come up with our own five, okay? And the five that we've got today is we're going to do a 5-10-5 a five, five, uh, sprinting sort of challenge, Okay, whereby you sprint five meters one way, turn in the other direction ten meters, and then back to the middle for five meters. I'll explain it when we come to that exercise. So that's a sprinting challenge, and then we got a jumping challenge. So we're going to do a long jump. We're not going to do the normal long jump of running and then jumping into a sand pit. Okay, we're going to do standing long jump as far as you can. We are then going to do another long, another type of jumping event, and it's going to be triple jump. Okay, and I'll explain what goes on when we're doing the triple jump event. Okay, but that is involving a, a hop and then a step and then a jump to see how far you can get. Okay, and then holding each landing. The fourth event we're gonna do is, let me just crack my brains, we are gonna be doing a, oh yeah, a target throwing event, okay, with socks. So obviously you've got socks in your home, we're gonna create a, a target to be throwing and you get points for how many times you get it in the target. And then the last exercise we're gonna do is we are gonna do a timed challenge, okay? So a bit like when we had cross country at school, we are gonna do an eight minute jogging challenge, okay? And seeing if we can run for a whole eight minutes and how far we get, et cetera, et cetera. So give it your all, okay? We're gonna spend about five minutes, five minutes on each exercise. The good thing about this, if you ever need to stop the exercise, stop the video, pause it, have a go at lots of practice, okay? By all means, pause the video, okay? But good luck. Are we ready? So, five, 10, five, test, okay? It's a sprinting test as well as change of direction. So we're going to start in the middle. So it doesn't matter what you use, you can use socks, you can use tennis balls, anything you want. So I put out the first cone. What's going to happen is, notice, I've just done five big steps. Two, three, four, five. So you do exactly the same. So five big steps to one cone, and exactly the same, five big steps to the other cone. You start in the middle cone. I'm going to sprint out to the yellow cone, change direction, Sprint all the way to the red cone, change direction, and then back to the green cone. So I finish on this green cone, I start on this green cone, okay? This is how it should look, okay? So I start on the, the green cone, ready? Get someone on a stopwatch, and you go, go, there, touch. Sprint all the way back to here, touch. And then we finish when we get back to the red cone, uh, back to the green cone, okay? Give it your best go, good luck. Well done in event number one. Okay, good start, good sprinting, good turning, good effort. Now we're gonna move on to event number two. Okay, what's gonna happen is we're gonna look at standing long jump. Okay, this is an event you might do at uh, sports day. Slight differences, on sports day, you will look at people running as fast as we can and then you jump and you propel yourself forward. This will be good practice. We're not gonna run, okay, because not many people will have sand pits at home. So we're not going to run and jump, we're just going to do a standing long jump, okay? That means we're going to start behind the line and we are going to propel ourselves forward as far as we can, but we must stick the landing. So I can't do this, jump, and then fall over, okay? I must stick the landing, okay? That means you've got control of the jump. So I'm here, okay, I stick, notice, I've got a nice 
steady base and I stuck the landing. What's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to have three attempts and then break and then three attempts. Okay? And your aim is to jump as far as you can while sticking the landing. So, we're going to put a cone down to start off with. Okay, I'm going to put the cone down here. You're going to take one cone in your hand. This is the, the cone you're going to put down. So, I'm jumping like so, two feet apart. For the first three jumps, I want you to jump with your hands on your hips. So I'm here like this, and I'm going to jump, and I go. Okay, I jump, I put my cone down. Where do we measure from? Correct, okay, we measure from our furthest back point. So I measure, I put, I'm going to put my cone, okay, behind my back foot, but a little bit out of the way, so I don't stand on next time round. If I was to jump in a get, in like a real jump, and I fall backwards like this, okay, we measure it from the furthest back point. So this is good practice to stick the landing, because in a real competition, if I fell backwards, I would measure from where I fell back. Okay, so this is my first attempt. I go again, I go like this, and we jump again. And I've gone a little bit further forward, okay? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do three jumps like that. Once you've done three jumps like that, and put your cone down, you can record your stores, maybe in steps, if you've got a, uh, a, like a measuring tape, you can do it in meters, okay, so you know how far you've gone. Now, the interesting thing is, we can jump further, okay? It's important when we do triple jump, no, sorry, long jump, and if you ever watch the Olympics, okay, Greg Rutherford, 2012 gold medalist, okay, when you jump, you jump and you almost throw your whole body forward, okay? We can do the same with standing long jump. So again, I've got my feet behind the cone, so I'm just going to just give you a representation of one before, okay? Put my cone down. So that's your cone from before. If you have another cone now, let's see if we can beat that. This time, we use our arms. This time, I want you to really throw your arms forward. That should propel you forward, and you should be able to jump further. Okay, so now I've got my cone down. Okay, now I can propel myself forward. So I go here, and I go, and I stick my landing again. Notice, okay, I've gone about 30, 40 centimetres more, okay? We'll give it one more go, and again, I'm going to propel myself forward like so. And I just make sure I stick my landing, okay? And again, I've beaten it again, we can go forward ever so more, okay? So give it a go, three jumps, hands beside your side. The reason I want you to put your hands behind your side is because the next three jumps, I want you to realise how important it is to throw your arms forward, okay? That also then brings your hips forward, bring your whole momentum going forward and you'll be able to jump further, okay? And then when we go into the summer term, when we get our running, it's the same as before we run, we jump and we bring whole body swinging forward, okay? So record your distance after three jumps, put a marker down, then your aim is to, with your swing in your arms, Hopefully, we can jump further. Okay? Give it a go. Good luck. Brilliant. Okay, we've done the, the 5-10-5, event number one, event number two, long jump. We're now onto event number three. Okay, and we just did long jump. This one is similar, okay? It's involving a sandpit again, obviously we don't have a sandpit at home, so we are going to look at sticking each landing, okay? We're going to do the same as before, we're going to have three jumps, and then what's going to happen is we are going to rest, and then we're going to have another three jumps. And the first three are going to be slightly different to the second three. So, what do we know about triple jump? We know that Jonathan Edwards is the world record holder. They jump, off the top of my head, roughly around about 18 metres. So from when they run, when they take off, the distance of 18 metres is one hop, one step, and one jump, and that's 18 metres. They, they sort of float, okay? They do, their, they do their hop, and they step, and they jump, and they go so far. I'd recommend it. If you go onto YouTube and type in triple jump, it is amazing how far they jump. They just float, they just jump. They almost look like they're flying, okay? Anyway. We're now going to give it a go. This is an event we might not do until you get slightly older, 
but why not give it a go? We're at home, okay? We can have a fun lesson. We're gonna try something new, okay? So triple jump, triple, try, three. Okay, so it has three aspects. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice these three aspects. So we start off putting our cone down. I'm gonna put it down here to give myself a bit of room. The first one we do, so when we do it in real life, this is what they do, they run and they go hop, step, and then jump, okay? We are gonna stick, first three jumps, we're gonna stick every landing, okay? So I'm here, first one I want you to choose is decide which leg you wanna start with, okay? It's completely up to you. You can change it from jump one to jump two to jump three. So, first step is hop. So, if I'm here, I'm gonna choose my leg, I'm gonna choose my left leg, okay, I'm gonna hop. Make sure you stick the landing, okay? If you wobble a little bit, that's okay. But I've gone this far. Now it's a step, so it's left leg now to right leg. And then from, I've just done a hop, I've done a step, now it's a jump. So I go this leg to two, okay? Take it slow. It can be a little bit confusing, but give it a go. So I'll repeat it one more time. I go from the beginning. If I'm starting on my left leg, I go hop, so I go left to left. I then go step, so I go left to right. Oh, there we go. And then I go from left, and oh no, I go from right to two foot. Okay, I put my cone down, back of the foot. That's where I get to, okay? Give it a go. Once you've done, Three jumps at hop, step, jump, but sticking each landing. You are then going to give it a go. Pause it, have a couple of goes with the one we just did. But if we think we can do it, after you've done three goes where you stick the landing, we are now going to not stick the landing and we're going to go continuous. So if I'm here, I'm going to do the same as before. I don't stick the landing and now you should be able to get further because you're not stopping each time, so you've got the momentum bringing you forward, okay? So I've got this jump here, pink, is when I was sticking each landing, so I've stopped every single step to think about what my next step was. Now I know and I feel comfort, comfortable about progressing it quicker. The yellow cone shows how much further you can go. So if I'm here, one last time, if I'm doing it on my left at this time, I go hop, stick, and jump, okay? Give it a go, good luck. Brilliant, okay, really, really good start to the lesson. We've done three events, which means we have two left. We've done five, 10, five, we've done the long jump, and we've done the triple jump. We are now gonna move on to ball accuracy, ball throwing, okay. In Olympic, it's not really an Olympic event. We have javelin, we have shot put. They are throwing events. We're going to do a different type of throwing event, one that we can be done at home, indoors or outdoors. Okay. If you're if you're going to go throw indoors, please be careful. Don't use any. I, I recommend not using any balls indoors. Okay. Use socks. Roll them up into a ball shape. Then you can throw it. Just be careful though, because there might be vases. Okay. Might be televisions. I don't want you to break anything. So please ask your parents to see if this is safe or even better outside don't break anything outside okay it's easy outside anyway we're going to move on we're going to do ball accuracy so what's going to happen is we're going to put down a cone or an object for where you're going to throw from okay you are then going to measure out one two three four Five. Okay, I'm going to bring it back a little bit just so you can see in the camera. I'm going to put a red cone down. Okay, I'm going to put a green cone down and I'm going to put a yellow cone down. Okay, so we have three targets. Uh, that's going to bring a little bit closer. There we go. Like so. So you have the same as everything, you have three attempts. You are going to stand behind your cone, and for the first cone throwing, you get one point. For the second cone, you get three points. And for the red cone, furthest behind, you get a whopping five points. So one, three, five. You get three throws. Your aim is to collect as many points as possible during those three throws. Three throws okay? You can throw it overarm, you can throw it underarm. All you have to do is 
pick the cone on the full toss. Okay, so you can't roll it and hit the yellow cone and get one point. You have to be able to throw it and then hit it on the full toss. So if I have a go, no pressure, Mr. Carson. Here we go. So I'm here. I'm going to go for the yellow cone. One point. Okay, let's see if I can go green cone. Almost. And let's go for the five point red cone. So I only got three points. Okay. Give it your give it your go. Okay. So I, that was my first attempt. You have now three times, okay, three attempts. See what your best score is, okay? Good luck. Excellent work. We've done 5 10 5, we've done long jump, triple jump, and we've just done ball throwing, okay, accuracy. We got the last event, okay, which only means we have long distance. So we did this a uh, bit last before christmas okay in the first term we did that 10 minutes of continuous cross-country running we're going to do something slightly similar okay instead of doing 10 minutes i'm going to be kind we're going to cut it in half and we're going to do five minutes of continuous running okay it's important throughout this five minutes now none of you are going to be able to sprint for five minutes straight okay it's, it's impossible okay what i don't want to see is us to sprint for one minute, walk for one minute, sprint for one minute, walk for one minute, and sprint for the last minute, okay? It's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for you to run at a constant speed for the whole way through, okay? So imagine sprinting is 100%, I want you to be running at maybe 65 to 70% throughout the whole race, okay? Give it your go. 